got some nice colors. Fall is here. Hello, D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all are well. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. All right, what's happening? Well, I am back at Panguitch Lake. It's the middle of the week. It is mid-October, and I wanted to get the boat out here one more time to see what the action is like. Because I've never fished out here uh, in early fall like this so today the high is supposed to be 68 69 it's the best day of the week because after this the temps are just dropping and by by this time next week the high out here is like 40 or something it's really dropping quick so I imagine it might go up go down whatever but winter's coming quick up here so I wanted to get out with the boat and see what's happening out here so that's the plan variety of lures trolling hopefully we get a sizable trout or two or three it doesn't matter to me I just want to catch one and uh, it doesn't look very busy at all today there is not much going on at the lake so let's not waste any time let's drop the boat let's go get them join me Looks like DNR is dumping a fresh bash of fish in the lake. Gentlemen, how are you today? We're doing really good. You already caught your limit, huh? We have two limits of fish. We're actually one plus, yeah, plus one more. <laughs> well, you said you caught a four pounder already. Well, yeah. The first one we caught was a, that's a, that's a nice fish. Yeah. What, what are your names? I'm Dwayne and this is Ron. Dwayne, Ron, very nice to meet you. I'm Dave. These gentlemen said they watch the channel and my wife. She catches more fish than me. That's it. That's it. <laughs> well, that's the way it rolls sometimes, right? Thank you, nice meeting you, gentlemen. All right. Y'all yeah. have a good day, okay? Yeah, just don't catch all those new ones they put in. I'll try not to, sir. <laughs> right down there where this other boat's at, right it, down there. Well, you can just, just throw a pole out there. Hey, don't kill it. <laughs> all right, I got to figure it out, gentlemen. Thanks for the tips, all right? <laughs> 20,000 more fish. So I'm going to try a variety of lures today as usual and uh, I think to start I'm going to use this, well, I'm pretty sure Yuzuri makes it, it's the hardcore shad. Uh, I've used this on Lake, the recent Lake Powell video, the early fall video, it did really well. It goes to about 10 feet, so you can see the pattern there. We're gonna give this a shot for a second and uh, go from there. Supposed to have a nice light breeze today. That's good. And as I'm learning, a nice slow troll. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, so DNR just dumped 20,000 more. I think there were rainbows. I'm pretty sure there are rainbows at the north landing there, the north launch. Uh, some of them were pretty sizable. So that's encouraging. Okay, just for kicks, I'm gonna give this uh, XD3 a try. Let's go down, what, 15 feet or so? 10, 12, 15 feet, something like that, I can't remember. All right, you can see that pattern. Yep, maybe. Fish on, fish on. Fish on on that Strike King XD3. Oh, he's a nice fish. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, oh no, it happened. Oh, he totally hit that. Oh. All right. Totally hit that XD3. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Right on. Look at that. Boom. There you have it, folks. XD3 works. Make sure I have a wet hand when I'm touching this air trout here. There we go. There we have it. Nice little rainbow. It's a good way to start the day. And that's what he hit right there. Right on. Oh man, I tell you what, sure is nice knowing you didn't get skunked. All right, let's give that another shot. Dang, he's got a nice hit. Ah. This one. This one. Ooh. 20 feet. Nice one. in the water. Very nice. Okay, well, that's two now on that, so I'm gonna continue with this. And I'm sticking around 20 feet of water. Oh, I see fish down there right now. Enough talking, let's fish. <laughs> so the idea is I wanna use a little larger lures today. Hopefully, uh, that'll give me a larger fish, but I'll take anything. I, I really don't care. I'm just stoked to be out here. Catch a fish. <laughs> Let's get another good hit. I'll stick with this lure for a little while longer. Seems to be doing the trick. I'm just curious if they'll hit on the XD3. Will they hit on the XD5 or 6 even bigger? I know there's big fish in here. Alright, you can see there's fish on the bottom right near 20 feet. See on the graph there, my hands are occupied so I can't point it out, but the larger dots there. All right, I gotta give it a shot. So this is the XD5, this will go to 20 feet. I'm gonna stay off the shoreline a bit and in 21 or deeper, 21 feet or deeper water, and I'm gonna give a pass at that big old XD5. See if we can get any action on that, because that would be cool. I'm gonna use that pattern the chartreuse with the black back there so let's get that a shot real quick okay here we go xd5 20 feet i'm noticing the trout as i'm moving when i see fish they're staying on the bottom so we'll put this out there and uh you know see if anything happens yeah, i gave that a shot for a bit i'm gonna go back to the three the xd3 that is that's the pattern Nice light wind's picking up. All right. That's right, gotta get some energy here. I'm gonna try, go to the Rapala Shad Wrap. This is the craw pattern. And this is the uh, <clears throat> the Shad Wrap number seven. So a little bit larger. I'm gonna give this a shot for a bit too. So this pattern did very well for us on our last trip. I think that was back in August. I mean, we slayed them on this. So, see what happens today. Fishing for you, but you hit on that there. Here you go. Mm, maybe we'll go down a little smaller. 
getting lots of bumps on it. Oh man, the wind's chilly too. I'm gonna put on a flannel here in a second. Not summer anymore up here, that's for sure. Let's go back to the smaller Yozuri hardcore shad. That pattern there, we'll go a little shallower. Maybe we can hit something with that. About 15 feet of water. Seen lots of fish down there. Got a lot of bumps on that shad wrap. The Rapala I was using just a second ago, so I'll try a step smaller. Let's see what happens. Fish on fish. Oh, that's a nice one. picture all right I'd gone back to the Rapala shad wrap that one and if you're curious the water temperature is 56.7 degrees right on cooling off no doubt Seeing it right. Yeah. That's a fight in them. What do we got here? Big bow. Oh, peels a little line. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. Ooh, that's a nice bow. Nice bow. Oh. Woo. All right, finally. That was a long spell. Boy, that's a nice fish. Hands are wet. There we go. Look at that bow. Very nice. It's time for a little chicken hot sauce. It's important to keep the energy up so you don't miss a fish. I mean, am I right in thinking that? So quick, quick chicken, chicken break, and uh, we'll get back at it. Cheers. All right, back at it. Let's get another one. So I need to repeat that I am using a little larger lures on this trip, uh, trying to get a, a larger fish. So maybe that has something to do. Um, it's a little slow, slower than the last trip at least. But I mean, conditions have changed, temps have dropped, it's cooled off a little bit. Different lures, you know, any variable, you know, it's just fishing for you. So, so who knows? But um, the action's a little spotty. It's definitely happening, but um, boy, I just got hit there. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting lots of hits. 
That's just fishing for you, right? Almost fall asleep sometimes. <clears throat> oh, damn me! Hit the Jesus out of that fish on. Fish on. Whoa! I ate the rod out of my hand. I'm half asleep there. Oh, there he comes to the top. Good lord, that was a strike. Look at you. Oh, nice bow. Beautiful fish, huh? All right, I think we'll continue while that wind died down. Warmed up. Nice. I was almost dozing off there when that fish hit. Beautiful day out here. Absolutely beautiful mid-October day. And I'm catching fish. Can't beat that. Oh my goodness. That was a nice fish. He off. Oh man, he hit the bejesus out of that. Oh snap. Came to the surface and spit it. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Peeled line with that hit. Oh man. So it keeps you coming back right there. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Fish on. You're still there? You're still there. All right. Coming towards me. Oh, that's another. Oh, I think it's a cutthroat. Oh, all right. Yes. Look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful fish there. Yeah, it's a cutthroat, all right. I think that is a cut. Let's have a look real quick. Yeah, it's cutthroat. Here we are. Beautiful fish. All right. All right, it appears I'm about to stay a little bit longer. This one, this one. Launching. I gotta get this guy in. I still got him. I still got him. He's coming right towards me. What do I got? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh no way. It's a tiger trout. Check it out. Look at those markings. That's a tiger. Oh, that's what's launching. Tiger trout right on. Oh, nice. All right, is that a penguin slam, rainbow, cutthroat, tiger trout? Sounds like it to me. Boy, that, that tiger launched. He's got a bit of a more 
pronounced dorsal fin from what I saw there. <laughs> I can't imagine what a five pound tiger would be like. This one, this one again, this one. This on. Nice looking bow, his colors. Yeah, beautiful fish. Oh, fish on. Coming to me, you just lose it. It's gotta be coming to me. Oh yeah, he's still on there. There you are. Oh. <laughs> Fish on. Fish on. take it doing the trick shad wrap number seven that's putting a hurting on them back to putting on the final the minute that wind picks up it's cold well i think i'm in it for another pass at least i mean let's stop now stop when you're catching them like this. I mean, wow. There's some nice fish hitting. That wind's starting to pick up a little more. It's getting later in the afternoon. I might have to make one more pass. Fish are going.
day when your arm's sore. Another bow. Here we go. And go. And he's free. Good night. Alright, one more pass or one more fish. <laughs>